another thing that you talk about is building distribution right and you've done this very well on twitter and linkedin uh, which is that hey a product may fail but you can have another product and a product after that right and having people to sort of sell to uh, or people who can use your product validate your product etc is very very important and you have to do that sort of independently uh, can you talk to us about that absolutely so uh, back in 2018 i was part of the startup accelerator so i knew like people used to come they get funded then they launch a product etc there is one pattern that i observed that some people even raised 4 or 5 million but eventually their startups failed for multiple reasons after 2 3 years down the line now there was one big problem if they operated in a vertical let's say edtech or something like that then they tried to build their product in that vertical etc then uh, some of them failed so that they soft burnt contacts in the sense that contacts enterprises who trusted them to deliver but they did not deliver then they didn't have such a strong connects with vcs because you know they burnt 5 millions of their money although they part depart ways on good faith it's not like you are their best friend right you burnt 5 million dollars so what i realized was okay these guys built uh, raised 5 million and on paper they were millionaires etc they tried to build a product in vertical but what happened once they failed they were at ground zero i mean they had a few learnings of course operating in that vertical so they lost everything material basically yeah and uh, i realized why are these there should be some transfer learning now they cannot go and build another edtech product because they are guilty that they failed the previous product so they cannot go and approach the same edtech companies of course some people who are valiant can do that but most of them will get dejected and try to stay away from that right then there is no online presence of them so that they can leverage on anything that I, that they did in the last 3 years so i realized this isn't the way if you raised 5 million dollars good that you are building a company but build a personal brand for yourself as well so that whether that money or company exists tomorrow people know you and it's not like this 5 million dollar becomes uh, these companies become google that even if you fail startup people will recognize right i mean if 5 million dollar startup fail maybe hardly few people who follow you or your story etc will recognize you but beyond that nothing much so i realized once we closed down our startup in 2018 where i was working with another co-founder and because of co-founder conflicts we closed it down i realized if your startup fails there should be some benefit to the world one if you have at least open sourced few things along the way at least those persist and whatever you have built is left behind so at least people have you have given some delta to the world not that 5 million is vanished into thin air so taking that idea what i did was i open sourced everything that we built in the startup started writing blog posts on medium and github some libraries etc i put together them i realized at least a failed startup should benefit the world some in some way then through that process i realized one thing that people started you know finding my content interesting and they started asking queries about how i did something and then they they realized that you know i might have some insights into edtech and ai they started asking queries about that etc then i realized okay this is what personal branding is like generate your ai edtech ai if one person comes into mind or a handful of people come into your mind that's what personal branding is and if you build a brand you can leverage in multiple ways i say this analogy before even uh, manufacturing colgate or manufacturing kurkure or lace chips potato chips put everything aside put a road from your village to next village rail put a you know tar road from your village to next village tomorrow once that road is railed if they don't buy kurkure i will sell lace if they don't buy lace i will sell sugarcane juice to all popcorn whatever it is now that road is the channel distribution once you have the distribution you can sell anything once i have the audience if super meme becomes an utter flop i just close it close it down and start something else people have transferred my persistence and at least showing up every day on bill on to another product and i always tell people that don't give me any free money if it is my obligation to 
सेव यू टाइम और मेक यू मोर मनी गिव मी मनी ओनली वेन आई डू एदर ऑफ दीज टू थिंग्स Don't give me money because I'm a poor indie hacker struggling. Nothing. I never use those words. <laughs> It's like I I have to make effort that I'm saving time or money for it. Then you will automatically give me, give me money. So you spoke about collaborators and co-founders uh, in this journey, right? Uh, finding people who have that complementary skill set who can help you get your product to market and so on. And you know, good example is someone like Sanjeev. uh for super meme what are the do's and don'ts of finding a collaborator so if someone is thinking of an idea and is uh, looking for collaborators what are those two or three things that they have to keep in mind in order to find the right person sure so i think one very very crucial thing is proof of work because there'll be great people working in let's say corporate or great content creators who show up every day etc but in what you are aiming to build there should be proof of work for them which should show that they have taken a step forward in the direction for example when you come to supermeme.ai sanjeev already created a meme db for semantic search of course he used very minimalistic tools and hand tagged etc but he at least collected some tools and put it out uh, and created a website and put it out there behind uh, besides that he was actively you know putting out video memes every day just out of his interest so for me to trust him or for him to trust me there is proof of work established that ethereal medium of work that you know transcends between him and me or any other creator is established similarly uh, nico he was actually making saas boilerplate templates with next js superbase and all this modern tech stack and he was making money selling those templates now there is no more proof of work for me to get get convinced that you know i need someone with next js and superbase and stripe all these integrated i need someone who can actually do stuff now if he was working at a company he could make big claims but i don't have anything to back or get con- uh, you know confidence in those claims but doing these two things like on the sanjeev front finding him and on the nikos front whatever his proof of work was there it was a no brainer and i was doing the same which is building ai courses ai projects and some mvp of super meme etc so i put i reached out to all these people told them that hey there is this opportunity think about it and i always think uh, make it very simple for them which is equal co-foundership and i'll tell you one more thing which i haven't told previously even in order to make nico comfortable who is based in south africa you know not from our race right if me and sanju approached and wanted to build something with him he would not know when we would vanish because he doesn't know anything about us so i have never even discussed with them till today but one thing that i realized that let's let uh, nico open the stripe account on his end and let him connect stripe for everything because money is the only you know solid truth that is out there let let us give the keys of money to him and that's the trust that we give to him initially in the initial stages uh, and and there are some psychological aspects that you know like these that you need to take stands and think about ahead of time how they pursue you or how you you know make them more tr- uh, you know put trust on you etc so for any developer or any wanna be solopreneur right i think the most daunting aspect of all of this is not just building product but also finding users and finding users who would pay for their product right how right. do you find the first 10 50 100 paying users for your product and literally you know i'm from a marketing background i know you can find these users from you know 20 different channels right but as a solopreneur what are the two or three things that have really worked for you what do you prioritize first and then how do you layer that uh, further with other channels and so on sure absolutely so when it comes to marketing i have two different school of thoughts first one is you have an audience and you push through something that means your branding is driving the market then there are second secondary things where technology drives the market if you are actively releasing something on let's say text to image table diffusion or chat gpt some new website to chat etc in one click etc 
then technology has audience that evolving technology when i mean technology there is a continuously evolving technology either in control net with images or gpt3 or chat gpt evolution that has audience now whenever you are launching a product you need to try to maximize both maximize both of these first of all whether you have audience or not even if you have 100 followers 200 followers go ahead and launch it first on your socials which is linkedin or twitter and i say even if you connect all the friends that you have met so far you will at least have 500 etc and that is level 1 launch where uh, you don't have much following but let's see where this goes level 2 launch which i would encourage to all founders and we have found good success even is find things where there is distribution already and then if you have an interesting thought that will propel through what that simply means is product hunt reddit hacker news these three things try your luck there and of course it's a bit of luck in the sense that the timing has to match with the product that you have but why i'm saying these things is there are many apps and even uh, apps with 10000 dollars monthly recurring revenue they have probably less than 500 or 1000 twitter followers and the bulk of their growth came through these distribution channels those could be product hunt ready hacker news where it gets picked up and gets viral and beyond this uh, i always say you need to have two different things one is daily content either that is launching on socials talking about it on socials then persistence on internet which essentially is youtube videos or blogs top level it's called as seo but let's call it persistence on the internet or searchability on the internet so you need to talk about it and uh, you know write blogs or create youtube videos on it etc and uh, you know there is a magical way to market which is you educate the audience but you put the layer of your startup or your personal branding behind it for example i teach about let's say gpt3 tokenization but if you see my demos they are carefully planned in the sense that i don't randomly sometimes put elon musk runs tesla even if i am teaching tokenization some technical thing i just write ram sri is creating super meme meme generator app then i don't talk about super meme or anything but i just tell the technical example with my name and other things so if that gets viral even if there are 10 million views maybe 100 or 200 people will remember my name and super meme right so put a layer behind anything that you do even if you are educating audience use your examples your personal branding or other things etc